About 1% of all galaxies and 10% of all active galaxies have high levels of radio emission. Stars like the Sun and all other normal stars have very low levels of radio emission. So the sum of stellar populations cannot produce such radio emission. In 1944, the amateur astronomer Grote Reber detected sources of radio emission in the constellations of Sagittarius, Cassiopeia, and Cygnus. The Sagittarius source was the galactic center. The Cassiopeia source was a supernova remnant. But the source in Cygnus could not be identified until 1951, when at Palomar, Walter Bada and Rudolf Minkowski identified the intense radio emission with a faint galaxy at a distance of 230 megaparsecs. This galaxy, Cygnus A, has 10 million times the radio emission of the nucleus of the Milky Way, yet it can be detected with the radio equipment of a backyard amateur radio astronomer.